Hey, what are you doing over here? What are you doing? What are you doing, boys? <laughs> Come on, Kimpy. Kimpy. What are you doing, boy? Okay, let's do a little shop update. So, uh, not much happened over the winter. Uh, I had a change of jobs, so that pretty much consumed a good portion of the winter. I did uh, get the 2166 scrap, scrap machine put back together and fix the uh, CH-16 on that. And I'm gearing up for spring. People are calling me, texting me, needing things fixed. And I'm going to sell two machines. The baby cubby here, the 1018. So that one's ready. It even comes with the paperwork, so that's cool. And the 2130, which is underneath the tarp here. Uh, yesterday, I went and picked up a scrap 2554, 23 horse Kohler engine is the reason that it was bought, and that's going to get swapped into a customer's machine under the tarp there. Uh, and then this will be used as a parts machine for uh, the 2166 that's in the shop there. It's got good sheet metal. The side panels come with it and they're in good shape too. A couple scratches on the fender right here, but otherwise not too bad. Uh, we've got some decent rear tires. I mean, they're dry rotted, but uh, probably just two of them. So that'll get used. Oh, I got my guys out here. Say hi, guys. <laughs> yeah. I'm uh, gonna keep this 2166 and take the plow off soon. This is the 54 inch deck that came with that 2554. It's roached. I'd like to try to hang this 54 underneath that and see how it turns it. Uh, it'd be nice to have a, a large mowing deck. I have, typically I've run uh, 42s, about the, or 44s, about the biggest ones that I've used. So. Um, yeah, I brought the deck off of that one and brought it in here. It's uh, completely roached. The support brace here I just pulled out. It was broken. Uh, this here was completely... It, was, it came as a separate piece. It was not even attached. It was broken. We've got some support uh, or some uh, guides for the airflow in here that are they were mangled and sitting in the corner over here, so I'm slowly working that back into shape. No major rot. There is some right there I'm going to have to do something about. Uh, right now, I'm making sure that it'll fit and hang under an older 2000 series with the bigger wheels and tires. I didn't see a lift assist, like a, a double spring assist on this machine out here um, and I know that when we got it you, you couldn't even lift the deck up like even with the lever in the highest position here it just it wouldn't even lift much off the ground but this one doesn't have those uh, helper springs it has the one like main lift assist spring and doesn't have the helpers so we'll see so, anyway, I um, wanted to give you an update. It's not going to be all 2000 series this year. Uh, this uh, 1250 is still doing great. 3205 is still running great. Like I said, I'm going to sell this one. And uh, after I get this deck cleaned up and hung underneath this guy, I'm going to see about making some time to... Get back on the 1882. It's still here. <laughs> it's 
it's just taken a while so yeah that's the uh that's the update i'm gonna have a little less time in the shop this year i think with the with the new job is what it's looking like so the good thing is uh i have uh pretty much a good mowing machine so i won't have to do i mean what i'm doing with this deck right here now is is really like a supplementary thing i don't have to do this um, I've got the 42 inch deck over there from last year that I used and it, there's nothing wrong with it. I spent quite a bit of time repairing it, so I know it's good. Uh, all the lawn boys are just fine. They're not going to need anything. They're going to need fuel and, and then they'll go. So going to get this into a state where I think I can do something with it and see see how well the 16 horse will turn the 54 deck and see why there was an issue lifting the deck off the ground on the other machine. I know that some of them have problems with the welds that connect this lever to the rock shaft. You know, they can break and split. So, hopefully, I hang this under the deck today, and, or I hang this under the machine today, and we'll see what happens. Yeah, that's, uh, that's an update, and hopefully some of these will be going away. That one, oh, I didn't even say anything about that one. This one is for my neighbor. This one's a... Uh, another 1000 series um super low hours it's got like 85 hours on it but it hasn't run in a while so i'm gonna get that uh running for him so he can sell it it's a really nice clean low hours machine um and uh yeah hopefully this uh mess of tractors and tarps cools down a little bit i mean it's only middle of march right now not even middle of march so it's going to be a while before things cool down. Typically this time of year it gets pretty pretty busy here as people bring stuff to me before the season starts and then during the beginning of the season it's pretty busy. So I just got to pick my battles. I'm trying to get this one, this deck, in order before I get entirely swamped. I'm looking forward to the 1882 and the M18 over there more than anything. It's been months since I've touched it, so this will be the next focus. I'm going to get, if this deck fits under that and it spins it well, it's going to get a little makeover. I'm going to give it the rear, bigger rear tires, bigger front tires, and all the sheet metal, all the good sheet metal will come off of the, the scrap tractor there. So taking one scrap tractor and another scrap tractor, putting one together to make another third, uh, somewhat better scrap tractor. <laughs> uh, okay. Nice sunny day, about 35, 40 degrees out here, so I'm going to get back to work. So this is at the end of the day of uh, the shop update. Things are moved around a little bit, a lot less messy than it was. I don't like showing the shop that gross, but that's it is what it is when you work on decks. But look at this! Uh, it's in a different spot. And that looks like a totally different tractor. Swap the wheels. Got the six inch uh, PTO drive on there. Had to tap, a, tap some threads here and move this. You see that PTO fully just wobbling around. It's ridiculous. Some new pulleys on it. Swapped over a bunch of stuff. And I got the big boy under there. Big old 54. Totally different tractor now. Okay. That's it. Just wanted to show you the shop without it all gross and... The 2166 here. We're going to do a little, uh, a little series on this. 
basically taking a, an early 2000 series and making it a 2500 series. So, yeah, stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll catch up with you soon.